This is the Reaper and it's the 10th rarest skin in Fortnite. This is the top 10 rarest cosmetics of every kind. This includes skins, pickaxes, back blings, emotes, and more, so stay till the end. The Reaper earns its spot at number 10 on the rarest skins list because you had to get to level 100 back in season 3 to earn this. This is based off of John Wick, but Fortnite later made a different version of the John Wick skin. These skins are very, very similar. The 9th rarest skin in Fortnite is the Royale Bomber. This was part of a PlayStation 4 bundle and later part of a DualShock 4 bundle. This means you had to buy either a PS4 or a controller to get this skin, making it really rare. This happened back in 2018. The eighth rarest Fortnite skin is Black Widow. This was the first Marvel skin added to Fortnite, but it hasn't been to the item shop since May of 2019. We have seen other versions of Black Widow hit the item shop, but not the original. Number seven is Honor Guard. This was available to players who purchased the Honor View 20 smartphone, and this also makes it one of the most expensive skins in the history of Fortnite. Number six is Double Helix. This was sold as part of a bundle with Nintendo Switch, meaning you had to buy an entire $300 Nintendo Switch console console to get this. Number 5 is Black Knight. You had to reach level 70 back in season 2 to get this skin. It was really really hard to level up back then. And it took a lot of time, so not many people got this. Number 4 was Special Forces. This used to hit the item shop quite often, but it didn't for almost 1600 days. I'm not sure what else to put in the number 4 spot. Number 3 is the Galaxy skin. This was available when you purchased a Galaxy Note 9 phone or a Samsung S4 tablet. There's no way to get this anymore and it was only sold in 2019. Number two is Wenegade Weta. Back in season one, you had to not only reach level 20, but spend 1200 V-Bucks to get this skin, making it really rare. Not as rare as the other skin in season one, Aerial Assault Trooper. This was unlocked at level 15 for spending 1200 V-Bucks. Same amount as Renegade Raider, but more people got Renegade Raider with the V-Bucks, as buying V-Bucks wasn't very popular back in season one. Not many people wanted to waste it on Aerial Assault Trooper. Do you have any of these skins? If not, right now we're moving on to emotes, so maybe you will have some of those. Number 10 is Booby Trapped. This was introduced in Chapter 1 Season 8 and was unlocked by completing challenges. These challenges weren't very difficult, but not many people did them. And there was a pretty harsh timeline on when you could do them. You were only given a week to be able to do these challenges. Number 9 is Scenario. This was also a Samsung exclusive emote, which you needed to purchase either a phone or a tablet in order to unlock this emote. Not many people did this, therefore not many people got this or the iconic skin. This was introduced in Chapter 1 Season 8. It was actually free for people that already had the phone as well. So that's why some people have it and it's only number 9. Number 8 is Introducing. This was introduced in Chapter 2 Season 3 and was included in the PlayStation Plus pack. Number 7 is Welcome. This was introduced in Chapter 1 Season X to commemorate the new season and it was in the item shop for a limited time. Not many people got this as it was only in the item shop for 3 days. Number 6 is Out with the Old. This was introduced in Chapter 2 Season 5 to commemorate the new year. This was also in the item shop for a limited time. A lot less people got this one though because it was during the new year when not as many people are playing. And it was never marked as a limited time item, so not many people got it. I think people thought that you would just be able to get it again. Number 5 is Freestyling. This was introduced in Chapter 1 Season 4 and was introduced as a Twitch pack. Number 4 is Kiss the Cup. This was introduced in Chapter 1 Season 9 and was introduced in a limited time item shop. This was introduced to commemorate Booga winning the World Cup. Very little people have this as it was only in the item shop for 48 hours. Number three is Go Home. This was introduced in Chapter 1 Season X and was also in a limited time item shop. This was introduced at the same time as the Welcome Emote, but more people bought the Welcome Emote because it was just better. Number two is Jedi Training. This was introduced in Chapter 2 Season 1 and was unlocked by completing challenges. There was a lot of challenges to complete in order to get it and not many people did it. Most of the quests were grueling tasks to complete with lightsabers. The number one spot is Floss. This was introduced in Chapter 1 Season 2 and was unlocked in the Battle Pass. Many people want this emote and not many people have it. But somehow, it's also one of the most popular emotes in Fortnite. This emote is the face of a lot of Fortnite merch, and has single-handedly made Fortnite millions of dollars. But now we're moving on to pickaxes, so strap in. Number 10 is Pot of Gold. This one still does come back to the item shop every now and then. And for some reason, everybody always says it's one of the rarest pickaxes. I looked at multiple different sources and it said it was the rarest. I put this at number 10 because it only comes around every St. Patrick's Day. Meaning not many people really buy it. I'm not entirely sure, but I don't see many people with this pickaxe. Number 9 is ACDC. It was introduced as a Battle Pass reward in Chapter 1 Season 2, and you had to get to level 63 on the Battle Pass to unlock it. And Fortnite was still a brand new game and was just growing, so not many people got this. Number 8 goes to Crowbar. This was released for challenges in the Getaway Game Mode, which was way back in March of 2019. And you had to complete the high stakes challenges in order to unlock this pickaxe. Number 7 is Widow's Bite. This was introduced in Chapter 1 Season 8 and was purchasable in the item shop, along with the Black Widow skin. This hasn't been in the item shop, however, in 1500 days. There's no saying whether or not this will return, but for now, it's one of the rarest pickaxes in Fortnite. Number 6 is Pointer. This pickaxe was a China exclusive pickaxe, and only players from China were able to get it. It was purchasable in the item shop back in Chapter 1 Season 5. 
but not many people got it as Fortnite China wasn't very popular back then. Speaking of Fortnite China, number five is Power Grip, which was also a China exclusive pickaxe and also introduced in chapter one, season five. Not as many people got this one because of its looks, making it slightly more rare, but they both appear on the top 10 list. Number four was Moonbow. This hadn't appeared in the item shop in over 1500 days, but it just did with Mew Selk's locker bundle. For now, there's nothing else in the spot of this because this was added to the item shop while I was still editing this. It's only appeared three times though. Number three is Raider's Revenge. This is the pickaxe for Renegade Raider, one of the rarest skins in Fortnite. It was introduced in chapter one, season one, and you were able to purchase Renegade Raider by reaching level 35 in the chapter one, season one, Battle Pass? It was called the Season Shop. It's pretty much a Battle Pass, though. Number two is Permafrost. And I know what you're saying right now. You're like, how can this be more rare than Raider's Revenge? Well, it was introduced in Chapter 1, Season 5, and was only available for people that purchased the Premium Battle Pass, and reached Level 100, and completed all of the Ragnarok challenges during Season 5, which were very grueling and hard. Not many people cared to unlock this, and not many people even purchased the Premium Battle Pass. So that's why I put this at number two. And number one, of course, I don't know if this really counts, but it's the FNCS Axe of Champions. To unlock this pickaxe, you need to win FNCS, which is a very, very grueling task to do. Not many people win FNCS. It's a pretty cool pickaxe, though. Flash this in the pregame lobby, and you'll have the whole lobby landing with you. Now on to backblings. Number 10 is the Galaxy Backbling. This was unlocked by purchasing a Galaxy phone, and it came alongside the Galaxy skin, which is one of the rarest Fortnite skins. Not many people got this. Number nine is the Royale Shield. And number eight is the Squire Shield. These were both part of the chapter one season two battle pass. And not many people played back then and not many people got them. Number seven is Swag Bag. This came with the third ever Fortnite starter pack in which you had to pay actual money for the pack. As opposed to V-Bucks, not many people bought this. Number six is Telemetry. This was included in a Nintendo Switch only Fortnite bundle, which you had to purchase an entire Nintendo Switch, $300. So barely any people got this. Number five is response unit. You had to buy a NVIDIA graphics card to get this, which unless you were already planning on upgrading your graphics card, nobody would get this. You're not gonna buy an entire graphics card just for a back bling. Number four is black shield. This was included alongside the black knight skin in the chapter one season two battle pass. To get this, you had to really do the grinding. And that makes it one of the rarest back blings. Number three is ski bag. There are 12 different varieties of this back bling and it was purchasable briefly in the shop. Since it has 12 different versions, each one is rare. Because if somebody buys one, it makes the other one more rare. So it's kind of all of them combined for this one. Number two is Penguin, which was completely exclusive to China. It was given away as a promotion with a Chinese company. The game's limited players made this backlink really rare. And number one is Insignia. This was also a China exclusive given off of as a promotion with the company Wii Games. It was only available for a very limited time and nobody got it. Like literally almost nobody. Next, let's move on to gliders. Number 10 is Raptor. This was first available in the item shop back in chapter one, season one. It was last seen in August of 2018, which is almost 1800 days ago. This was introduced for the chapter one, season two battle pass. You had to reach tier 14 to get this. Along with Black Knight and all those other things, this makes this really rare. Barely anybody played the game back then and barely anybody cared about his cosmetics. Number eight is Sir Glider the Brave. This was unlocked at tier 35 of the chapter one, season two battle pass. And you had to pay for the premium pass. Number seven is the Snowflake Umbrella, which means you had to get a Victory Royale in Chapter 1, Season 2. It couldn't just be purchased or unlocked like the other two. Number six is the Rhinestone Rider. This was available in the item shop back in July of 2018, but hasn't appeared since, and was only available for five days. Number five is Rainbow Rider. This was unlocked in the Chapter 1, Season 3 Battle Pass at Tier 15. Number four is Aerial Assault 1. Quite obvious why this is on the list. It was unlocked alongside Aerial Assault Trooper, the rarest Fortnite skin. In the Chapter 1, Season 1, Season shop, you had to reach level five and pay 500 V-Bucks for this. Number three is Discovery. This is another one of those Samsung exclusive cosmetics which you had to buy a phone or a tablet. Number two is Rotor. This was unlocked as a Nintendo Switch exclusive alongside the Double Helix Bundle. It was released in chapter one, season six and barely anybody got it. And finally, number one is Mako. This hasn't appeared in the item shop since chapter one, season one and was purchased from the very first item shop. Or by reaching level 25 in season one, you could purchase it for 500 V-Bucks. It will likely never return, so if you have it now, you have the rarest glider in Fortnite. And the window was very slim to get this. For all the other types of cosmetics, I plan on doing a part two of this video. So subscribe if you wanna see that. I'll also be picking random people to give a shout out in my next video.